Hi guys, Sean from Optics. So today we're going to do a little bit of a comparison video of two Vortex red dots. And we often do get the question of what is the difference between the Crossfire and the Spark. So I've got both on the table today. I'm quickly going to run over what the differences really are. And you'll find by the end of the video, there isn't too much differences between the two, but there's a couple of little quirky perks of choosing one rather than the other. So on the right hand side, on my right, we've got the Vortex Spark. This is at a higher price point than the Crossfire, which is on my left. And it is a slightly heavier built red dot. You've got the mounting plate here simply just attaches to the base of the unit and you just screw it up from underneath and securely attaches it there. It's like I said, it's slightly longer as well and is a heavier base unit. On the spark over the crossfire is your flip ups are actually attached to the unit and it just ensures that when you do take the flip ups off to start shooting that you're not going to lose them because they are quite small and quite easy to lose and they'll probably be blown away in the wind. <laughs> so that's a nice little feature. The one thing the spark has, which is different to the crossfire is the fact that the spark has um, the adjustment of the 12 settings of the red dot brightness located here. And you've simply got up and down arrows and like I said, 12 brightness settings. And on the crossfire unit, our illumination setting is 11 steps and it's a rear stat system. So basically your adjustment has um, 11 steps starting on one and two, which are night vision compatible. And then they move up in brightness until you get to the 11th step. The one benefit of the rear stat system that is actually on the cheaper unit being the crossfire is the fact that if you are going to be using this in the field with say gloves on, it's a lot more easy to adjust. So the fact is you can grab hold of the turrets, the windage and elevation adjustment is easier to adjust because the knobs are external. Whereas on the spark, you can see they are tucked in and hidden just to say being knocked and the same with the illumination adjustment or the brightness setting again it's a bit harder to get to so that's one thing that a uh, hunter may find a bit more of a benefit on the crossfire that differs to the spark is the fact that you've got bikini covers and like i said you put them down you are quite likely if you aren't that careful to lose this while you are out in the field. So it's worth bearing that in mind. I will leave them off because it would just be too much of a faff <laughs> to put it back on. The Crossfire has slightly more internal adjustment and windage adjustment, not really needed on a red dot uh, to know the exact uh, numbers, but it has slightly more adjustment. We've then got the skeletal mounts on the Crossfire and you also have the ability to detach this and allow the mounting of a lower compact mount depending on your rifle setup. The one thing that is worth noting on both units is they are compatible with the Vortex Micro 3x magnifier. So for the guys who are wanting to pair this with a magnifier, a good one to choose would be staying within the Vortex range, keeping that warranty and being able to get that mounting height exactly right by choosing the vortex micro three times magnifier so really between the two there isn't much difference apart from the aesthetics so there's a couple like i said quirky points that you, you could find a benefit this has got auto shut off this doesn't have auto shut off and that really summarizes them it's very much down to personal preference like i said at the beginning of the video you're not there's not a this is better this one's not as good it is built to a higher standard but there's slight features that you find on the cheaper model that could be more suited to you so depending on your price point and exactly what you're looking for both red dots to do the job they're both covered by vortex's fantastic warranty and 
yeah, they, they, they tick all the boxes that you need. If you want any more questions on red dots, what one's the best to choose, give us a call. We've got some good guys on the telephones that be able to fill in all the blanks and always drop us an email, comment below if you want to see any further videos and we'll make sure we keep the content coming. See you later.